A Vancouver man is preparing to cycle around America with his best friend, Brian Nadon, planning to bike from Vancouver to Miami over 150 days with his golden retriever, Ginger. Brian joins us now to talk some more about this. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Was this your idea or the dog's idea? Uh, I would pretty much say it was Ginger's idea. I th yeah, I thought <laughs> so. <loves> okay. <laughs> so you've actually, <laughs> Brian, cycled across Canada already. Is that correct? Yeah, with the support of Specialized uh, Bicycles last year, we did just under 8,000 kilometers um, from PEI to Victoria, BC. Wow, and I take it you loved the hardship so much, you have decided to do it again. I'd, I'm not sure what's wrong with me, but we're going to do it again, and this year we're going to do 11,000 kilometers throughout the U.S., so it's not a direct shot from Vancouver to Miami. We're going to weave our way around. So what appeals about this kind of travel to you? rural communities, um, being able to stop and actually meet and chat with people. And I would say the speed, you know, you're going 15 kilometers, 20 kilometers an hour, you actually get to see everything versus driving by. And what about Ginger? What is it like for Ginger on these rides? Uh, she's a celebrity, I'm her plus one. Uh, mm. <laughs> Ginger runs about 15, 20 kilometers a day. The rest of the time she gets pulled like a princess in a chariot behind my bike, and uh, she, she has no issues. She it's, has no it's issues. A holiday for the dog. <laughs> you do this to actually raise awareness. You did, we're doing this to raise awareness for post-traumatic stress disorder, um, to help people realize that you know it's it's not a disorder, it's not a mental health issue, that it's just an injury, and we all sometimes need to take a little bit more time to recover from that injury. So, so how did you so get... it's all about... Yeah, how did you get into uh, deciding to bike in support of this? Well, I volunteered uh, with an organization called Wounded Warriors that do a cycling event each year. And because of the time that I've spent with them and the people that I've had an opportunity to get to know, I decided that we were going to do a world tour, Ginger and I, and, uh, and, and cycle. And how has it been sort of getting that conversation going on the road? Uh, Ginger is a catalyst to every relationship. Um, so it's very, very easy. Uh, and people are willing to kind of approach the dog, say hello to myself, and then start talking about, you know, some of the things that they've been through. So it's been a great learning experience for us. Okay, you also mentioned that this is uh, going to be part of a trip, meaning you did Canada, you're not going to do the U.S., but you want to you want to go further than that. Correct. Tell so me about it. Next year in January, next year in January, we're going to cycle through Europe in the Middle East, and once we're done that, we'll cycle. Well, Ginger will go home. I'll cycle through Asia, come back, and then Alaska straight down to Patagonia, the southern tip of Argentina. Wow. So we're pretty much on a four year, and we've completed year one. We have three more years to go, and during that journey, you know. The, the emphasis is to try to talk to as many people as possible. Wow. All right, Brian, thank you for joining us today. Thanks for telling us a bit about what you're doing. Good luck to you. And Ginger, good luck to you, too. Ginger says thank you, and you can follow us at the Vatic Foundation uh, Facebook page. Sounds good, Brian. Thank you for that. Take care. Cheers.